my name is Mtala the Voice, so our journey continues here in Kibra, uh, the biggest slum in Africa. And uh, we are in Kianda, a slum in a slum, actually, here in Kibra. Still with my brother here, Peter, showing me around. Man. So, uh, Kianda actually can see is close to the stage. For example, someone, if you want to go to town, you can use uh, Kianda. So, where are we headed to? This way? Yeah, okay. Uh, let's go still in Kianda in Kibra so Kibra has got a population according to census is 170,000 people but according to estimation it's close to 2 million people so you know not the census and there is reality so that's the reality man. need to be careful here so should we go this way Wow, 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 wow. Guys, tell me in the comment section do you have something close to this in your home country? I just want to show you around so that you can get your, your own feeling and do your own. Yes. Ah, just saying hello there. That's your friend. Uh, so, w w this, where does this road lead you to? Now we are heading to Olympic stage. Olympic stage. Okay. So from Kianda Olympic stage, where we find Olympic primary, our with uh, take care. Our nearest bank is here. Okay. Equity. equity. So equity bank is the one that you have here close. We, we have them three. Okay. KCB. Okay, KCB. And the cooperative. Cooperative and equity bank. Ah. All right. So if you want to do the banking, uh, when you are here at Kibra, you come here is either KCB. Uh, cooperative, cooperative or you go here at equity if it is actually in this building and i can see people living there too yeah okay it's very rare to see people living uh, yeah here wow wow residential in a bank that's crazy i've never seen something like that <laughs> oh okay so you see tau 30 going to town is 30 shillings but it's like 30 cents in terms of dollars so i tell you it depends on the time so like right now in the morning is actually or 50 shillings in the evening also 50 shillings then right now rainy season is 100 because it's crazy to reach here everywhere in nairobi actually when it's rain it's rainy it's rainy period the fair or, uh, normally goes up okay man so right now it's 30 shillings going to nairobi cbd town that is uh, 30 cents in terms of dollars 30 shillings wow so man here it is for ugandans uh it is close to uh it's close to 1500 ugandan money for tanzanians close to 1000 tanzanian shillings so from there you need to know for south africans to runs runs is uh close to uh going to start right now is close to 15 runs uh 15 uh yeah i think no is it 15 no it's around five south african runs to go to nairobi cbd right now so you can imagine so we are in kianda uh, headed to olympic olympic primary school i think is one is the is a primary school with the highest population right in nairobi located here at kibra slum wow wow so what is the total population of that school actually but in estimation there are many. There are very many because I know the high. I think I will check. I will check. I will check that number of population. Then uh, in the next video, I will be. Sh I will be telling you in the, the in our next video, I'll be telling you the correct uh, number of students in that Olympic school. Now we are in boundary. Uh, this is the boundary. So here, this is the boundary. This is uh, railway line. This is the railway line. Wow, wow. So guys, here is the railway line. Bound the action uh, for Kianda and, uh, and uh, Olympic. So this is Olymp Olympic, and this side is Kianda. Wow, wow, wow. So that's amazing. Wow. Still in Kibra. Wow. 
Oh, I can see a car right there. Next to the selling shack for 70 shillings. That is 70 dollars. Uh, not 70 dollars, I mean 70 cents in terms of dollars. <laughs> Charcoal. Wow. So here are the you know vehicles going to coming to Kibra and also going to town from Kibra. They're called Kimao, Kimao Sako. Yeah. Bureti also comes to this side. Bureti. And Kiragi, Kiragi. And Kiragi Sako. So when you go to where can you find them? Maybe if someone is at railway station, Nairobi. You remember we were at railway station on the previous video? On the other video, not previous. One of my videos I was at railway station. Uh, you can go there and find these vehicles coming to Kibra. Kibra slum, the biggest slum in Africa. So, yeah. KBS. Also Kencom? Yeah, you can come from Kencom also. 42. Kibera number 9. So it's a vehicle number 8. <laughs> oh, look, route number eight. Ah, okay. So we are heading to Olympic Primary. Yeah, sure. Let's go just show them Olympic Primary. Then uh, I think we shall call it a wrap so that people uh, get to know Olympic Primary also. All right. Wow. So, guys, we are in Kibra. How do you find it so far? Tell me in the comments section. I need to know how do you find it? <laughs> wow. So that you told me something about that church. That church. Yes. Eh? AIC church. AIC. This is the Olympic stage, yeah? Alright. Now AIC is a church that was constructed by the former president, the second president of Kenya, Daniel Toroti Sharap Moy. Actually the late uh, Daniel Toroti Sharap Moy. The second president of Kenya ruled Kenya for 24 years. Wow, so he, he constructed a church for himself. <laughs> but actually, he lives opposite Kibra. He has got uh, his mansion uh, opposite Kibra. So the president actually lived in Kibra. Wow. So let's continue going, man. So we are headed to Olympic Primary, it's one of the primaries or schools here in Nairobi. Uh, inside our uh, Kibra slum which has got the I think one of the biggest populations in the country so uh, I'm just going to show you there the you know uh, the the school remember we are in Olympic where we were right there was Olympic stage bus station if you want to go to town or coming from town you can alight from there or board a vehicle from there as you go to you know various destination or place that you want to go so yeah, we headed to Olympic, so we are in Olympic right now. After this, we can go to Raila Raila Academy. Okay, we can go to Raila Academy also. All right. Raila Academy. Raila is actually a former prime minister and the leader of opposition right now in the country. So. Raila Primary. Okay. It's Raila Primary and Education Center also. So, different titles, but same thing. All right. All right, so guys, we are still walking here in Kibra. So Kibra, like, uh, let me for those joining us right now, Kibra has got a population of, uh, according to census, is one hundred and seventy thousand people, but the real estimation uh, is actually to, uh, uh, around uh, two million people. Let me tell you why it is so. So, you, I, I know how shorty sometimes the census are done in Kenya. So someone comes to your house, like wants to count you, then if they find the house closed, maybe someone has gone to work or doing his own things. It's just like that, they don't count. Or maybe someone may, maybe is very tired, can just tell you, man, uh, I've been counted already from my countryside or up country. So they are left like that. So most of the census are not done like with that accuracy. So I think as a country also we need to improve on that. So even as we were going around, imagine it's during the day, but actually you can find it's like, uh, man, the population is big, as you can see, because this is the time that maybe the population is actually, people are not outside, a lot of people are not outside. So you can imagine, people are going to work right now. So you can imagine the evening or early in the morning, the number of people that are around here. And actually from there, you can have a clear estimation of how many people are in this place, in slum of Kibera, you know? 
you can estimate from there so yeah i think uh, the government needs to improve on how they do their census or just have good uh, agent training so that uh, they know what to do so that at least we have um a clear number of people when they're doing the census or an accurate somewhere close to accuracy yes so that's what you mean so we are headed to olympic primary school just next there next to that truck tata can you see that truck there's music here i need to avoid music due to corporate strike i don't know that guy junior delivery doing the delivery with uh with a bike so we're going so we're going inside or just outside so that people can get to see ah. all right so here's olympic primary school oh, so that is the school man olympic primary oh. so here it is man uh olympic primary school in kibra Wow, so this school has got... Is it a primary school? Oh, it's a primary it's school. A school. It's a government school, right? There is secondary, that's it. Oh, th there is a Olympic primary and secondary school. Wow. So here is a school. Wow, 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 wow. So, so we, uh, we go to Raila. Yeah. Ah, we see. Okay. Okay, so we are using this one. We're going this way. To Raila Educational Center. Wow. So how is it like uh, what happens if the school is full, man? Because I see the population is very big. When you go there with the student, maybe the school is full. Uh, is the student just enrolled or he's told to go to, the, to another school? Because the government school, I know it has got no limitations sometimes. I know the, the almost they were taking the chance. Okay. Children, because if there is. There is no. I can. Over maximum. Okay. Yeah. All right. so they are overcrowded. This is another school, Olive, Palm Olive School. Yeah. So it's opposite here. Opposite to Oli Olympic. There's another school here, Palm Olive Academy. Wow. That's crazy, man. You see uh, the demand for schools in this place, man. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's a Catholic church there. It's called Our Lady of uh, Guada, Guadalupe, Guadalupe, Guadalupe Catholic, Catholic Church. Archdiocese of Nairobi. So he has a Catholic church. Can you see that? Wow. So, that's how Kibra is then. Even getting space to set up those uh, institutions like uh, churches, NGOs, schools is quite, uh, it's quite tough, yeah, because of the population uh, that lives here. So, wow, 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 wow. So we headed this way now to Raila, um, Raila Odinga. Raila Odinga Primary and Secondary School. So it's a primary school at the same time there is a secondary school. It's just next to Kamkunj. You can see uh, we are headed uh, where we started from, Kamkunj, but never showed people that school. Let's show people that school, Raila Odinga Primary School and Secondary School, Educational Center. Then uh, we know what you're going to do next. So far, how do you find it? I need to know, man. Uh, where you are or the country you're watching from do you have something close to this one so we're coming from that other side here it is so just need to check here kibera town center so yeah okay it's like a hall is that like a town hall yeah. so you can hire a space there Oh, right. Right, right. Wow. Guys, so we headed, we are just almost close to Kamkunji. Kamkunji is a, is a, is a place of, uh, it is like an open field where you can find uh, most of the rallies or campaign uh, do happen there, you know, or crusades. 
Oh, so this is uh, well, what is this? This is Raila Odinga, that is our former prime minister, uh, our former prime minister, leader of ODM party in Kenya. Uh, okay, and leader of opposition right now in Kenya. So, wow. So, let's cross. Wow, 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 wow. Uh, I can see the railway, the railway line here. What time does the train pass here most of the time? The train passes the train. Yeah, what, what time does it pass? 2 a.m. morning. 2 a.m. 11, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. So most of the time, how do, you know, the, the passenger one or freighting one? For, uh, for the passenger, passengers, passenger train. For the passenger? Yeah. It is 8 a.m. in 8 the morning. 8 a.m. in the morning? Then from town to this side. Okay, town. 11, 11 p.m. 11 p.m. All right. For the normal goods train, any time. Okay. Uh, for Even goods, uh, it can pass any time. Mostly going to Uganda. Uganda. Yeah, so this train uh, leads you up to Uganda. Wow. Oh, another second. That's for Olympic. Olympic Secondary School. It's right there. I can see students outside. And also construction work going on. Wow. All right. Wow, 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 wow. There is something else, man. <laughs> Kibra. the big Islam in Africa so we're going to Raila Odinga Educational Center uh, I show you then from there we know what to do next uh, I will tell you but so far you can tell me in the comment section how do you find it so far just tell me in the comment section uh, for those joining here right now uh, or maybe for the first time my name is Antara The Voice and I'll be bringing you amazing stories about uh, beautiful places all over the world so we have done stories in Rwanda we have done stories uh, in Uganda right now we in Kenya uh, my home country of course and we shall know the next destination I will tell you so this is the Raila Educational Center okay. that's Raila Educational Center okay. let me show people let me move here okay so people can get even from here they can see Raila Educational Center, founded by Kibra Siliet. Ah, man. It was named after our former Prime Minister Raila Odinga, and also right now is the leader for opposition right now in Kenya. Wow, 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 wow. So this is the school, Raila Odinga. Wow. And the school is beautiful, actually. So they have got a ground, playing ground, I can see. For, to get that space in Kibra, that was, a, that was quite some work. And also the school there, I can see. Ah, looking amazing, man. Look at this. What is this? Second, second. That is a secondary school there, the brown one. So, when we turn that side, yeah. we captured. Okay. Okay. All right. So let's go that side. Wow. So, that was it, man. Let's continue walking. Oh, you want to? It's all right, sorry. <coughs> so, I need to know, man, how do you find it? Oh, that's a school. That's a school right there. So, look at this other side. So, we go this side. Or oh, this way. Okay. Cheese. So we're passing through here in Kibra, the biggest slum in Africa. Niaze, what are you making? I was yone mambuako. Kopo. You know, uh, he was uh, going there to relieve himself for urine. So it's so good to show you know a person doing that, man. But this is a normal thing here, so it's not like uh, something abnormal. 
so it's not good to show someone right? when doing that thing, you know. So we hated this. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So here, there's a secondary school, right? The secondary school. It's really beautiful. Eh? You can see they have fenced it uh, with this uh, wall here. Huh? Security lights there. During the night times, there's security. You can see a flight light there. Security. So here's the, the secondary school. Waila Odinga educational center for the secondary school yes habari yeah. saying hello wow so has been so is this is also is not sure for this at the water ah huh? at the water all right so where are we headed to from here okay to the main entrance for Ray Loading Educational Center. Okay. And this area also has got a bigger population of the Nubian people. Karanja Road. So we are in Karanja Road, inside Kibra. Makina Ward. Inside Kibra constituency, Kibra Slam. Wow. <laughs> oh, these are students coming. Oh, there's, an, there's another school, Utu Academy, you can see it. Ah. So this is another school actually yeah, already like uh, many. many schools here wow 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 the green patches pasture school hey hey you see the truth man there are so many schools here <laughs> sometimes you can come another day this is a green pasture school that's another school hey, hey. crazy crazy yeah Wow. So Karanja Road it can lead Old Kibira Primary. This side, where is it? Is it far from this place? Is that there? I can see it actually. Old Kibira Primary School. I same 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 place. Hey man, how many schools do we have here? <laughs> So many schools, Iman. There's another school also. That one, Old Kibira Primary School and Secondary School. Wow. <laughs> wow. So, guys, we have been here, man, in Kibra, showing you uh, the beautiful. Yeah? Oh, this is the entrance. Okay. Ah. So we are entering the entrance of Raila Odinga uh, Primary School and Secondary School Development that is Educational Center. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Kibra, you see the truth, man. So many schools. Very many. <laughs> because in one word, you can see like around 10 schools. So, and there are six wards. Wow under a constituency in Nairobi County wow Kenya East Africa Africa the biggest slum in Africa <laughs> it's crazy wow these houses look like uh, the pre-colonial I think it was for civil servants here I know that sh those shapes of those schools so here's the school man here's the school uh, the students are uh, the playground you can see having their own flight light here for security purposes they've got the basket called pitch you can see the security person there wow so here's the school man ah wow wow, wow. Raila educational Cent center wow that is a high school this is the primary school there and this is the high school the brown one that beautiful building that you can be able to see there wow amazing amazing Wow, 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 wow. So, I think that is it. Guys, it has been amazing showing you around Kibra, man. We have had three episodes. If you're, you're watching this episode and you have not watched the previous episodes, you can go and see the amazing and beautiful stories that we have done here in this beautiful place in Kibra. So, 
We're still in Africa. This is Africa, and this is how diverse is, man. You need to know that. So I wanted to show you. I uh, just don't want to show you like only one side. I want to show you the inclusive side of Kibra, so that I uh, or Nairobi or Kenya or Africa, so that you can have a true picture of how it is in the ground or on the ground. So uh, I've been, you know, showed around with uh, my friend here, uh, Peter Odor. Uh, who lives here quite conversant with this place as I lived here for some time so he has been really helpful today and it has been amazing so guys continue subscribing liking commenting and I shall continue bringing you amazing stories about different countries different cultures different places my name is Ultra the voice have a good day